Songbird. Have you seen it? Have you heard of it? Well, let's talk about it. I just watched it last night. I spent 20 bucks to stream it on Amazon. And that's just rental. So I took notes and I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad I took notes. It is a film about the mutation of COVID. So they call it COVID-23. It's in the year 2023. And the people have been dealing with four years of totalitarian military grade lockdowns with drones, the works. I mean, security is next level. They've, people have to get their temperature scanned every day with their phone. And if they've got a temperature, then the Department of Sanitation will show up and you will be escorted to what they call the quarantine zone. They also call it the Q zone. I find it interesting because there was, a, there was some verbiage that once you go to the Q zone, you never come back. Now remember folks, this is a review of a movie that is available on Amazon. So it's just a movie and we're gonna talk about it. Before I get too deep into this though, I wanted to show you something pretty cool. So Virtual Shield is offering specials for Leak Project listeners where you can get discounts of over 70% off one of the most secure, fastest, safest VPNs on the market that I trust. I use it. Do you see this green box right here, this green shield? Well, once you click on that green shield, you get a pop-up that says Virtual Shield Connected. Right now, I'm connected out of Dallas, Texas with the VPN system that is super easy to use. Now, if you go to virtualshield.com slash leak project, click the link specific, you will get a huge discount only for leak project listeners. It's like $2.50 a month. So it's less than a soda pop or a juice box at the gas station. And that's for 30 days. And you can try it out for free. So virtualshield.com slash leak project. It's extremely fast. It's extremely easy to use. It's extremely secure and get yours. Okay, so Songbird. You can click on the YouTube links here and you can watch the, um, the previews or you can get it directly from Amazon. That's what I did. But when I watched the film, let me give you the notes that I wrote down just within the first 10, 15 minutes. And once again, I'm not gonna tell you the end. I will give you the info that I wrote down here though. So 56% fatality. They say that the new COVID strain has a 56% fatality and it's lethal within 24 to 48 hours. People need to have, if they go outside, they have to have immunity passes and these immunity passes are hooked up with technology. They're yellow. There are massive quarantine zones ran by the Department of Sanitation. And when they described the Department of Sanitation at the beginning, they, they flashed tinfoil hats, like people wearing literal tinfoil hats, not the designer grade 5G blocking tinfoil caps that we make, or I don't make, but Julian, the architect, I've got several behind me here, guy's a legend. Uh, no, we're talking real tinfoil. So the new strain attacks brain tissue and then there was a news clip that said, don't you remember the good old days of fake news? Then the numbers that they show in the film, 110 million dead. You can't go out of the house or you'll get droned unless you're immune and you've got to have these bracelets. And then rich people have a racketing scheme to sell these bracelets to other people. Martial law is indefinite. And... They um, also have what's called viral checks where you've got to every day, you've got your phone and the phone will check the temperature. And if you've got a temperature, then the Department of Sanitation picks you up. They take you into a quarantine zone. And there was that part that I told you about that once you go to the Q zone, you never leave. And they kept using the term Q, which makes me think that it's a subliminal, it's like a, it's a trigger word clearly, because a lot of people hear that letter. Some people think Star Trek. When I think of that letter, I think of the geniuses in Star Trek and these beings that were intel super intelligent. But it's also, um, a, there, there is a security clearance titled Q as well. And then there's also, as many people know, the um, conspiratorial realms of 
IQ, which in my opinion, a lot of that stuff, well, first of all, most of it I haven't researched. So I, I can't even really give you an opinion on it, but I, I don't want to get into that because anybody could be Q because there's really no route that I've been able to find. I, once again, I haven't done a whole lot of research into it, but it kind of reminds me a bit of Anonymous, right? Anonymous started out with, with people that wanted to make change. And, and from the research I've done, some people that were just like really awesome hackers, but it kind of got infiltrated and not even really infiltrated, but then people could say they're anonymous when they really weren't. Right. And then I watched a movie once that was like a high production film and it said it was from anonymous. And I'm thinking to myself, Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. So which one? There many organizations start off in a certain, at a certain level, and then there's copycats and repeaters and infiltration oftentimes. And there's just a lot of stuff that goes on. You know this, but once again, I'm just giving you a review from a movie. This is just a review of a movie and nothing more. So you got to have yellow bracelets, antibody tests. They keep pro promising these antibody tests in this film. They never show up. People are furious. People are losing it. And what I find very silly is how they make you stay in your house. And people think that your house is going to protect you um, from this mutation. But if you go outside, you might get it. Well, first of all, if your house isn't fully sealed, you know, wind, hello. You, know, you, got, you got a little crack under your door there. You got a little, you know, your windows might not be, your window might be open. It just, it just doesn't make sense unless it's like a control mechanism. Yeah, it might help, but it's, it's to the point where they make you think like if you go outside, you're immediately going to turn into a zombie because it's just everywhere, even though there's nobody out there. So I thought that was very interesting in the film, how people felt safe in their house, but they didn't feel safe if they went outside of their house unless they had on like oxygen masks and stuff. It's very, very bizarre. So... It's illegal to have people over in the movie. Everything's done virtual. And there was a sob story about a chick that was promised uh, a super exciting life by this sleaze bag. And when he invited her out, she got stuck in this motel. So she was basically doing shows out of her motel for four years because she was stuck there. And these people that were immune had these passes where they could just go out and do whatever they wanted. And they, they didn't get sick. But I, there was just, there's a lot of stuff in the movie that made me go, yeah, you know, that, that's not very believable. The end, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but it was extremely lackluster, in my opinion. Um, and I, it seemed as if the people that, that put this film together were like in their mid to late 20s. That's kind of the vibe that I got. Because... It just seemed to fit that genre more. And there was some very interesting points that I picked up out of this, but there was also a lot of fluff, but that's okay. That's okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not knocking the film in any way, shape or form. I'm actually really happy that I watched it. And to me, it was okay to spend 20 bucks and watch it because I could take notes. I could do a podcast and share it with you, right? Um, and even if I wasn't going to share it with you, I probably would have rented it, but gave me something to do. <laughs> Kristen fell asleep. She woke back up, but she falls asleep through a lot of uh, movies that I watch because uh, clearly they really excite her. So the, they, they, yeah, the new strain, 48 hours. And then um, there's all this film of people getting dragged into the Q zone. Um, one part that they said was the Q equaled quick death in the movie. Um, you had a lot of forced military, you had a lot of drones, you had the tracking with the, with the phones. So I, you know, I looked at this and I was like, is that what they're, is that what certain agendas might be wanting in the future is to have every, like, just to see how long they can get people to stay indoors. I mean, could you imagine being stuck indoors for four years? What would that do to you? What would that do to your friends and your family? I mean, what would that do to the psyche of, of humanity and the people? It would, I, I mean, I just don't even... To, to, to even consider that possibility. Now, if the sun and the magnetosphere collapsed and you went outside and the sun fried your 
brain like did something to your brain waves and i could see that being like an immediate zombie effect and there is talk about th that happening in the future when you get close to a possible pole shift or reversal you know, the magnetosphere gets extremely weak and if if the sun has some hiccups and some solar flares then you know we could be dealing with a lot of electrical problems as well but i do like now that we can watch a film or uh, you know something that's available on Netflix or Amazon as an example, that sometimes will be really, it'll, it'll come out quick. So when you're watching it, it's almost as if you're like, wow, man, how did they know? But you gotta remember most writers and directors and people in the industry, they've got barometer checks, right? I mean, they probably watch shows like Leak Project. They probably watch different alternative news outlets and, and platforms to, to see what other people are talking about and, and to see what people are interested in, right? Reading through comments on mainstream channels as well as alternative channels and everything in between and just kind of listening and, and, and keeping track and notes, et cetera, of what is on people's minds because you can bring that into film now faster than before. You can make these things happen a lot quicker in this age that we're in today. And I, I really, I think that's wonderful. I think it's wonderful to have these opportunities. And I'd like to get your thoughts on this film. Um, do you think that in the future that this is a plausible scenario? And if so, how far will it go? Because in the film, they don't show an end, right? There, there's, no, there's no lining at the end of the tunnel except for a few people are immune. So one thing that I thought was very interesting, I will bring this up, is one of the guys that was immune is like this crooked SO, you know, SOB, not a, not a pretty picture. And he made a comment about, we're like gods, we can do what we want to this other person that was immune. He's like, what's wrong with you? And then you wonder, are there people out there that have figured out ways to create certain situations or scenarios and have a safety net in place so that only the people they choose or a select few will be saved from this catastrophe uh, or safe in this situation where they can roam free and everybody else has to stay inside. Clearly, if you look at the world today and you really grasp the polarities, you can get a great understanding of how there is absolutely brilliance and amazing, wonderful, beautiful, lovely people that all they want to do, I shouldn't say all they want to do, but really what they want to do, what one of their main purposes is, is to help others to raise the consciousness level and, and to be the change so that they can co-create that and they can fill it. And it's, and it's wonderful. And then you've got those people out there that just seems like there's something not there. Like the, the conscience, they don't have a conscience. It's like they, they don't see things the way that we do, or some of them are very analytical and, and computer mindset, you know, like just data, data, data. They don't have the emotional foundation that most of us do, that many of us do. So how do you, how do you get to somebody like that? Or is it even possible? How do you protect yourself from situations that might cause harm like what how do you avoid that type of mindset i don't know it's very interesting so thank you everybody for being here with me i'm just kind of going into deep thought there there's got to be Positive intention, focus, positive intentions, and, and love, kindness. Maybe they, they'll be able to, if they could just pick up on it, right? Maybe if, if they could realize that there is more, because people can change, absolutely. 
people can grow. People can become more, you know, gentle and, and kind and loving and understanding and balanced, I believe. So, um, I, I like the information that the Navy SEAL that's retired now, Mr. Jaco, was was bringing up. You know, just s- spread that energy of love. Think it, focus it, feel it, hear it, be it. Uh, sp- push it out with your mind, with 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 your energy. Like just imagine yourself doing it because you have to imagine yourself doing it before you'll even have it before it manifests but even just the thought of doing it is at some level some degree manifesting deep thoughts by a conspiracy scientist that sometimes live in lives in a van not down by the river hello nanu nanu be the change you want to see everybody